Hi everyone, happy Wednesday. I'm hoping that this actually records um, horizontally because it told me again that I couldn't rotate my phone while recording and I know it looks better when it's horizontal, so let's hope this is actually working right now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm Susie Leachy. I'm a certified health coach specializing in women's health and in particular, I help women boost their fertility and balance their hormones. So I know I usually do these videos a little bit earlier in the day. I usually do them during my little guy's morning nap, um, but things have been a little bit, a little crazy around here. I don't know if you can tell, it's a lot more bare in my apartment than in the past, and that's because we are in the process of buying a house and we're going to be moving in a few weeks. So things have been a little hectic, as I'm sure you know if you've moved or purchased a house or both before. So that's why I'm doing things a little bit later. We actually had showings for our apartment this afternoon so we had to be out of the apartment all afternoon and then before that when my little guy was napping in the morning I was trying to get everything you know looking decent for people to come look at the place so anyway I'm doing it now and I also really wanted to so I've gotten some requests for my little guy his name is Luca to be in the video so I wanted to do that but then by the time we got back to our apartment it was time for him to go down for a nap again, so unfortunately he's not making an appearance this week, but he is going to make an appearance in the future. I'll, I'll bring him on, don't worry. It'll be fun, we'll, we'll do, we'll, I'll probably have him on while he's eating and you can kind of see what, what he likes to eat, which is always fun, little ones eating. And what else? So I may not be doing I'm a video every week for the next few weeks since like I said, we are in the process of moving and things are a little bit hectic, but I will do my best to pop on when I can. So keep the questions coming if you have them. I'm happy to address them when I'm able to. Okay, so let's get into it. Today's topic comes from a question from my private Facebook group, Hormone Balancing, Fertility and Beyond, about veganism and vegan diets. Specifically, how to balance hormones on a vegan diet. So, oh by the way, if you're here with me live, please comment and say hi. Um, and if you're watching a replay of this, also, you know, say hi, drop an emoji so that I know who's watching. Um, but anyway, if you're a vegan, unfortunately, you might not like what I have to say about this, but I think it's important information to share. And if at the end of the day, you still cho uh, choose not to eat any animal products for whatever reason, I'm certainly not here to judge and I will still give you some, some suggestions for some key supplements that you can take to help you out. Um, I, again, I don't think it's an optimal way of eating, especially for fertility and for hormone balance. And personally, I like things that aren't, that are a little bit more moderate and not extreme. And I think veganism is a little bit on the extreme side, but anyway, like I said, not here to judge or dictate what, you, what kind of diet you should be eating. So I'll still provide you with information and guidance if you do choose not to eat any animal products. Okay. As I go through, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And if you are watching this on replay, also feel free to let me know if you have any questions or comments. Okay, so there's definitely no um, one size fits all diet. I know I always talk about how bio-individuality is key and there's no one way of eating that works for everyone. And that's definitely true. But at the end of the day, we're all humans with bodies that are made up of certain elements and nutrients and Therefore, we need to consume certain things um, to physically build a human and to for the human body to survive and thrive. Um, and if we're trying to make a human, or in other words, get pregnant, we need certain elements and nutrients to physically build that human as well. Um, so I'm going to I'll go through some reasons I don't recommend a vegan diet um, in general and in particular for hormone balance and fertility. So the first reason is that plant foods do not contain cholesterol and hormones are actually made from cholesterol. You can only get dietary cholesterol from animal products and your liver can make cholesterol from raw materials such as sugar, fat, and proteins, but why not help it along by also consuming some cholesterol. It's very difficult to make enough hormones and in the right balance if you don't consume any cholesterol, which again, it's only found in animal products. 
One study actually showed that women who consumed low-fat dairy were twice as likely to experience problems with ovulation compared to women who consume full-fat dairy products. So that just shows us that animal fats are important to a woman's fertility. And also, if you are cooking and not using any animal fats, then you're likely using vegetable oils, unless you're cooking just with coconut oil. Um, but vegetable oils are inflammatory and contain mostly omega-3 fats rather than omega, um, I'm sorry, they contain mostly omega-6 fatty acids as opposed to omega-3 fatty acids. And you need both, but in a certain ratio, and they tend to have um, very high, too, you know, too, too many omega-6s, not enough omega-3s. And too many omega-6 fats is also more, um, more inflammatory for your body and can contribute to conditions such as endometriosis, PCOS, and dysmenorrhea, which are all inflammatory conditions. Um, dysmenorrhea, by the way, is just irregular menstrual cycles. Okay, so the second reason that I don't recommend a vegan diet for fertility and hormone balance is that plant foods do not contain DHA and EPA, which are omega-3s. So back to the <laughs> more about omega-3s. Um, I'm sure we've all heard about how important omega-3s are for our health. And plant foods do contain some omega-3s, but in the form of ALA as opposed to DHA and EPA. And the problem with only consuming ALA from plant foods is that your body converts less than 1% of ALA into DHA and EPA, which is the basically the usable form in your body. And there was a study done on pregnant women who ate seafood and then other pregnant women who did not eat seafood. Um, and again, seafood contains those omega-3s in the form of DHA and EPA, which are more usable for your body. And this study found that women who regularly ate seafood had children with better verbal and communication skills, better fine and gross motor skills, and fewer social and behavioral issues. In comparison, the children of the women who ate very little seafood or no seafood were more likely to suffer from developmental and behavioral issues. So DHA and EPA, which are only found in animal foods, again, are very important. Okay, the third reason why I don't really recommend a vegan diet for fertility and, um, and pregnancy and hormone balance is that soy products tend to be a significant source of protein on vegan diets and soy contains phytoestrogens which can disrupt the normal hormone process. Phytoestrogens are natural molecules in plants that have an estrogenic effect on the body which means they increase estrogen in the body or act like estrogen in the body. Um, similar to xenoestrogens, which are found in man-made materials such as plastics. And xenoestrogens are endocrine disruptors, which I talked about on my video on environmental toxins. So definitely check that one out if you haven't watched that video yet. And if you're thinking about Asian cultures and how they consume soy and don't necessarily have any issues or fertility issues, just keep in mind that First of all, they don't consume a ton of soy protein because they also consume animal products, so soy isn't really a huge part of the diet. And the second thing is that they use traditional preparation methods that eliminate a lot of the phytoestrogens, whereas modern day soy processing leaves a lot of the phytoestrogens intact, um, which can delay ovulation in women and cause other hormonal disruption. So moving on to the, the fourth reason is that vegan diets lack certain micronutrients. One of the big ones is vitamin B12, which is only found in animal foods. B12 deficiency is common even if you consume animal products, but it's even more common, as you can imagine, in vegans and vegetarians. Um, and you need a lot of B12 during pregnancy and while breastfeeding, and deficiency in B12 during pregnancy can lead to impaired cognitive development and other abnormalities in the baby. And by the way, liver contains the highest concentration of B12 of any foods, which is why um, it's one of the reasons it's so good for fertility. But there are other foods that are also rich in vitamin B12, such as meat, fish, eggs, and dairy products. 
Um, another, another micronutrient deficiency in vegans is vitamin A. And yes, you may be thinking that plant food, foods like carrots contain a lot of vitamin A, but they actually contain beta carotene which is the precursor to vitamin A and has to be converted to the usable form, which is retinol in your body. 45% of adults can't make that conversion at all from beta carotene to retinol. And in addition, beta, car beta carotene consumption has not been shown to raise blood serum levels of vitamin A much at all. And also consuming any synthetic form of vitamin A, like in a supplement, it's also not good because it's associated with an increase in um, an increased risk of birth defects. And why is vitamin A so important in general? Well, it's integral to healthy egg production. It also facilitates implantation, production of fertile cervical mucus, and sustaining a pregnancy. And by the way, I did a video all about how to increase fertile cervical mucus and increase your chances for implantation. Um, so if you're interested in those topics, go check out that video. Um, but vitamin A is also crucial for development of fetal organs, specifically the heart, the central nervous system, the circulatory system, and the skeletal system. So not enough vitamin A in pregnancy can lead to malformation of any of those uh, systems or even miscarriage if the malformation is severe enough. So vitamin A is definitely super important. And other nutrients that tend to be deficient, deficient in vegan diets include zinc, iron, and iodine, which are all really important for having a healthy menstrual cycle and for your fertility. So if after all that, you still want to go on or stay on a vegan diet, you're still not going to be getting all the nutrients that you need and in the optimal forms that your body can process and use. But um, I would recommend, if you're still gonna go that route, first of all, a B12 supplement. There are even B12 shots you can get if you're really deficient. Um, for getting sufficient iodine in your diet, I recommend consuming seaweed regularly, which is very rich in iodine. Um, of course, eating plenty of fruits, veggies, nuts, and seeds because they're very nutrient dense. And incorporate plenty of healthy fats such as avocado, coconut oil, and olive oil. Um, and I would recommend coconut oil for cooking because it can withstand the high heat and olive oil for more of like your salad dressing or anything that you're doing raw or you can put it on um, veggies or whatever you're cooking after it's done cooking because it doesn't withstand the heat as well. It oxidizes more easily, which can cause inflammation. So better to use the olive oil in its raw state. Okay, so. In conclusion, those are the four biggest reasons why I don't recommend a vegan diet for hormone balance and fertility. And again, just to recap, the first reason is that plant foods do not contain cholesterol and hormones are made from cholesterol. The second reason is that plant foods do not contain EPA and DHA, which are omega-3s and they're omega-3s in the usable form for your body as opposed to ALA. The third reason is that soy products often contain a significant source of protein on vegan diets, and soy contains phytoestrogens that can disrupt the normal hormone process. The fourth reason is that vegan diets lack certain micronutrients, as I discussed, um, namely B12, vitamin A, also zinc, iron, and iodine. So if you have any questions about that, again, feel free to let me know. And if you are looking for some one-on-one -on -one support to help you get pregnant, I'm currently offering um, free 30-minute fertility boost calls to help you uncover any hidden challenges that may be impacting your ability to conceive. And together, we will come up with a clear action plan for helping you boost your fertility. So I'll put a link to sign up in the comments. I also have a private Facebook group, which I mentioned briefly earlier when I was talking about where this uh, topic or question came from. It's called Hormone Balancing, Fertility, and Beyond. So if you are interested in this type of content and you're not already a member, I invite you to join there. I post some of the same information in that group that I do on my Facebook page and on my Instagram, but it's a private group, so it's more of a space for people to get support and get their answer 
get their questions answered in a private setting. And if I do choose a question from that group to um, discuss in a live video like I'm doing today, you know, I'll never give your name or any personal information or anything like that. So I will post a link to sign up for or to join that group in the comments. And um, just to let you know, I mentioned this for the past couple weeks, but if you're in that group or you decide to join, or if you're in other groups, Facebook has recently changed the, the algorithms for groups again. So if you're not consistently liking or commenting on posts, you'll actually stop seeing them and you may even be removed from the group. So if you want to keep seeing the content and participating in the group, just make sure that you take those actions, like, comment, you know, all those good good things. Um, or you can also change your settings so that you get notified when any new content is posted. I also wanna mention that I have a free guide on my website. It's my top five tips for boosting your fertility. So definitely go grab that guide from the homepage of my website, which is healthequilibriumcoaching.com, but I'll post a link to that as well in the comments. And lastly, if there is a topic or question you'd like me to cover in an upcoming video, as I mentioned, please just let me know. Happy to answer your questions and cover topics that you're most interested in. Um, again, I may be taking some time off for our move, but I will pop on live whenever I am able to. May not be every week for the next few weeks, but I'll do my best. And I also will um, get my little guy on here, <laughs> hopefully next time. If you want to be notified when I post new videos, send me your email address and I can add you to my mailing list. I also will be posting this video on YouTube and I will post a link to my YouTube channel in the comments. Please subscribe, share, like, comment, etc. It really helps me reach more people and keep doing what I'm doing. So thank you in advance, advance for that and thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your week.